How's it going everyone? My name is Trickster and welcome back to another Mario Maker video. Today we are going to be playing some Super Worlds. Now this is one of the newer features of the game that I have the least experience with. I played some very quick ones early on when it first came out and just I've just kind of ignored it ever since mainly to let people kind of like actually make good ones because the commit to a full-blown Super World is pretty impressive in my opinion. Uh, so we're just going to play whatever we see here. I don't know what we're going to get into. Um, so let's just pick here. We got Timmy. We got Tracking DX. That sounds kind of cool. It's got 5,600 hearts. I don't know if that means the Super World has 5,600 hearts or he has 5,600 hearts. It probably means he has that. So let's check out his Super World, man. You know, let's do it. So Tracking DX. New game. This looks pretty cool. I like this. I need to make my own. But I don't want to make one where I just slap together, you know, just any level I've made. I want to actually commit to it. All right, so cool. Let's see what we get into. I wish it would tell you the name of the level before you click on it. That or I'm just not seeing it. Welcome to the jungle. Appropriate. Oh, it's a music level. Okay. Okay. Oh, that was really funny. He had the okay sound effect right as I said that. <laughs> or just like slightly after. That's funny. Okay, we got a really cool level here. It seems like a, a screen scroll here is about to happen. And then we just... Oh, this is really nice. Okay, I thought we were just getting, like, a basic music level, but we actually have some platforming here. Um... Do I need to go faster? It's kind of hard when the screen only goes so fast. Oh my god, why is the spike killing me? Stop it, get away, spike. Go, nobody wants you here. Hey, I'm not the only one who's died in this level a bunch. There's a crap a load of deaths. Okay, that was really cool. Um, hit this. I should have thrown it up. Spin jump up there, and then we slide down, jump over, hit the on-off. Spin jump to the on-off, it looks like, because there's a spiky there. Okay, here we go. I like the music, too. Throw it up. Ugh! Slide! Spin jump! <laughs> Dude, this is so tight! Like, you have to, like, go fast enough... But not too fast, because the screen scroll, it's really weird. You gotta have, like, the perfect balance of just, like, completing the level and just getting through it, but not too quickly. Dang it, I should not have jumped. It doesn't blow up when you hit the slope. I, I never knew that. So we, I'm gonna throw it up from now on. Hmm... Okay, I think I just want to spin jump and either A, bounce off of the spiky or the spiny, whatever it's called, I'm sorry. And then, uh, or I could just land just off to the right of it and actually jump to the on off. I feel like that's what I want to do. That's like what I'm aiming for. And uh, for some reason, this platform, like, I keep spin jumping when I land on it, but it's just not working. Okay. Okay, there we go, there we go. Ooh, I just barely made it through to... So then we would hop over, hit the spring, hit the on off. Okay. This is really interesting. I like this level a lot. The record's 55 seconds, so it's going to be quite the journey to get through this. I was not expecting this, especially for like an opening level in your super world. This is pretty impressive. Mm, get in there. What? Wait, what? What did I miss? Was I supposed to hit a pal? Did I miss a pal? Okay. I, if there was a pal there, I completely didn't see it. Where's this pal at? What? Oh, does it want me to run? And then slide up the slope? <sighs> Woo! Okay, we did it. Um, okay, I was supposed to hit the block. This is nuts! <laughs> what a great level! Man, he's just like Composer, man. This is like... Okay. Almost Composer quality content right here. Like, the music's really well done, the platforming's great, the little challenges here are super tight and, like, entertaining. Hit that! Hit that crap! <laughs> I don't know what it's gonna shoot out. It's gonna shoot out a shell, probably. Yeah, no doubt. I wonder if I'll be able to... No, nah, I won't be able to grab it afterwards. 
Mm, okay, I went fast. It seems alright. Okay, then I have to hop over that. Um, trying to get some knowledge here. It looks like I'm gonna be jumping on that uh, okay. question block that's flying. I'm not sure. I don't know what direction. I guess it comes off to the left, don't it? So I, I would jump off of that and then over the spikes. Do we appreciate the fact that this is his opening level to his super world? Like, what lies ahead from here? Like, where do we go from here? Okay, that felt really fast. Get in there. Uh, the hammer, really? Ah, oh, I wonder if that was this bad RNG or I actually need to jump there. I, I doubt you can actually time a hammer, can you? I'm not sure. I don't think you can, though. It gets really intense right there. Man. Okay, slide. Bounce! No! <laughs> oh my god, what a level. Okay, I just straight up hit it. Oh, dude, that looks timed to me. And they want to do two question block jumps. Okay. That is super tough. Okay. What? <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> Maybe I just want to hold right. I don't want to, like, stay back at all. Maybe I just want to hold right. I don't know. God, that was, like, that's intense. Hold right, hold right. Okay, jump. Jump. Okay, we're making it. We're making it. This is progress. Okay, um... What do I want to do on that? How much of a bounce do I get off by not holding jump on a note block? Because I don't... That batter is just a really tiny hop I do off of it. That's insane. This part's easy. <laughs> it would actually help if I jumped. <laughs> I'm going to try holding right there. But I don't think it's going to be enough. <laughs> that hammer is such a freaking beast. Man, it is timed really well. It's there to stop you if you didn't go quick enough. And, like, even if you did go relatively fast, it is there to just to weed out the weaklings, pretty much. <laughs> hmm. Man, you want it to be, like, a, a full-speed jump off of that, I think. That was insane. That was an insane... Okay, you do just hop over. Fair enough. <gasps> Did we finally... I'm not even gonna talk about it. No, we're just... Yeah, we're not even gonna talk about it. Okay. We're just gonna continue on. Oh, yeah. I just realized we're playing Super World. Yeah... I've died a lot on this, <laughs> but in my in my defense, man, that's a tough level right there. That is that is something else. That is super tough. This is like easily like a nine out of ten, if not ten out of ten level. I, I feel super confident in saying that this is like a full blown nine to ten out of ten level, one hundred percent, depending on how this ending goes. Um, this is by far like one of the more fun and creative levels I've played in Mario Maker Two. By far. Mario Maker 2 is an interesting game. You can get, like, just the most garbage filth one day, and you hop on the next day, and you play crap like this all day long, and it's just incredible. Like, just contrast in this game is nuts. I died to the same spike. Alright. Okay. I got a good feeling about this run. We got this one. I've died too much this level. I'm ready to beat it. I'm focused. Ready? Good movement. Great. Do a good slide here. And then go quick. Oh, ho, ho, I thought I died. Not gonna lie. Okay, we hit a checkpoint. Nice. I figured there'd be one of these. Okay, go underneath. Okay. Now I'm kind of in the groove of all of this. So now I know, like, just to kind of keep this good, solid speed going. Okay, that's not how you do that. That's, that's exactly how you don't keep speed. Okay. 
I just started over. Oh, I just started over. <laughs> Why did I start over, dude? I've died so much to this, and I've started over so much okay. that that was just inevitable. Whew. Okay, we made it back. Finally. Finally made it back to checkpoint. We are not starting over again. Never doing that crap ever again. Okay, so right there at that piranha, we just want to go as fast as we can because we kind of get it at the peak of its, like, upswing. Yep. I just feel like spin jumping. Okay. So far, so good. Not bad. Not bad. It's actually lightened up a little bit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Wait, what? Oh, okay, and then we'll bounce, oh, we'll spin jump off of it. Okay, and then there's a falling platform for some reason. Ah, crap. No, 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 we're starting over. Uh-uh. Nope. <laughs> we're, we're done hitting the pause button. Which sucks now, though, because I can't start over to save lives. I have to legitimately just eat it. Okay, we're in there. Alright, this part's not too scary. Just gotta go- Oh! Okay. Can we appreciate, real quick, just the, the music work? Because that's what this is. Like, this is a music level, and it is, like, really well done. Like, acoustically and platform-wise, it is really, really, really well done. I mean, man, this guy is, like, an absolute G at making this kind of stuff. Easy does it. Run off. Go here. Jump over it completely, jump over it completely again, hit this, jump again, it'll get trapped over there and then we could just spin jump off of it, but I really don't know what's after that. Throw <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to do a really, like, hard right spin jump clear over to that platform. Get in there. Oh, Okay. Okay, so the platform moves left and right. I could have actually done that, but I, like, choked really bad. This is the first time I've made it over there. Okay. That's what we want. Okay. And then slide? Whoa. We gotta get the craziest run-up slide for that piranha. That's nutty. That's gonna be, like... The absolute limit to like how far you could slide before stopping. Oh no! <sighs> okay. What do I do here? Ah, uh, you dirty little troll. Dang. I should have waited there. <laughs> he actually trolled me there. I thought I had to slide butt my way up there. Uh, but no, you just wait. And then you gotta dodge the friggin' hammer bros. Which he has, like, meticulously placed throughout this level. Man, okay. Hey, dude, we got this, we got this. I didn't think the opening level to this Super Bowl was gonna be this intense. I had no idea what we were getting into to begin with. I thought it was gonna be trash. Just, like, some random person's Super Bowl, probably slapped together, just, like, whatever. But this is, like... Man, this is quality. I highly recommend this level to play. If you like a good challenge, good music level, it's got it all. One, two. Okay, we made it. Is this the end? Hey, looks like it. Okay, can we get some one-ups here? P balloons. Wait, what's up here? Please don't tell me it's death. Yes! Okay, a stockpile of one-ups. That's exactly what we needed. If we want to survive the rest of this super world, uh, we need as many as we can get. I'm guessing, like, if I die or lose my lives at any point through the super world, do I get sent back to the beginning? I actually have no idea. Or is there, like, checkpoints along the way? Straight up, 10 out of 10 level. That was super fun. I highly recommend this to go play. Welcome to the jungle, man. You absolutely killed that. I am stoked to see what else is waiting for us. Alright, took a short breather from that one. I'm just checking all my stuff here to make sure everything's running good. And let's hop into level 2. I'm wondering if it's going to be more of the same here. Or is he going to switch it up? Never ever land. Okay. Okay. What did I want to do there? Do I want to... Okay, do I want to coerce the thwomp to come down, then throw up the spike shell? Coerce the thwomp? Wait, where... Hmm. 
Well, I can't throw it up. So what do I do? Oh, I want to get this. Put it on. Hit him. That hits the on off. Okay, perfect. Whoa, 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 whoa. Things are happening. Okay, I, I completely missed what I had to do there. A thwomp came at me. I think I wanted to use that moment to damage boost through and get to the bottom before it shuts off. Alright, boop off your head. Put that on first. Doesn't look like it's a tight timer. That was my fault. So it looks like we actually have kind of all the time in the world to complete this. What is the world record for this? 53 seconds. Okay. Get through there. Ooh. Okay, he still wants me to go fast. Yeah, he likes the speediness. He still wants you to for sure not slow down. <laughs> it's so close. I cannot boop on anything. I can't slow down on nothing through there. Once we spawn in the skewer, we gotta go. Yeah, like that wall right there? That was it. That's all it took. That's all it took to kill me. Okay, that was good. That was good. Okay, it's exactly what it takes. I don't know what's happening there. Um... I had more invincibility frames than I thought. I don't know, do I just run through there? Like a maniac? Yeah, I do. I just gotta go. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Chill out, chill out. Give a man a second to breathe here. Fascinating. I could actually grab the P. Maybe I want to hold the P. Will the thwomp hit it? Of course it will. So then maybe I like let the P go at the last second. The thwomp will hit it. Okay, I don't want to hit, get, get hit by the skewer. I actually want to get hit by the thwomp there so I can have the, the most amount of frames there going through the spikes. Yeah, we got to get hit by the thwomp, so we got to really just speed right through there. Let me, let me practice something real quick and confirm my suspicions here. Yeah, I completely forgot. So we got all the time ever. Okay. Oh no, you do have kind of like the one opportunity. So we need to actually just slide, like duck slide through that. So a slide. Yeah, okay, there we go. So we'll never screw that up again, but we'll definitely screw this area up a few times. What if I throw the P-switch up? What happens if I throw it upwards? Wait for it, wait for it. That works. Okay, we're in new territory. Um... Do I want that helmet? I mean, clearly I probably do at some point. But I didn't see the best way to really grab it. What do I want to do here? Do I want to hit that, land on the buzzy beetle, then go up top? Because it kind of comes down to me, it looks like. Interesting. Hit that. Get the helmet. Hit that. I don't know what's going on here. Up here, uh, I'm winging it, I'm winging it, okay, that was insane. Okay, so then we'll ride. That was a lot of fun, that felt incredible. You know you got good indicators though, when you can just blindly go through something like that with like a lot of confidence. Ah, man, I barely missed it, okay. Okay, I made it, but I panicked. <laughs> I made it, but I definitely panicked. Is there a way I could knock him off of his wings? Because it, it looks like I need to carry something with me there. Oh, I have the helmet. That's got to be good, right? Uh, That seemed like cheese. Oh, I have to keep jumping. Okay, I was able to keep the helmet there, so that felt like cheese. I don't know how I kept it. Yeah, I think I actually need to keep that helmet so I can actually jump at the spikes and not like get killed by them okay we're on the beetle so we did want the helmet um dang I need to just keep jumping like a lot quicker as soon as I get on it go down go down Go down! What? <laughs> Let me hold jump. I'm gonna hold jump. Maybe it like stocks up a, a better hit for me. I have no idea. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing different necessarily. No! We lost it! 
Okay, I want to hit it off to the left. Okay. So, we actually got to do the opposite of what I thought. We got to do just kind of like consistent baby jumps on top of it. Don't let it even start flying upwards. And that seems to be... That seemed to work really well for me. So, we should be right on top of this now. Okay, I figured it out. We're gonna hit it off to the left. Let's grab this and then throw and jump. Okay, woo! <laughs> I almost didn't make it. Okay, did we finally get to the checkpoint? Yep. Alright, so Thwomp coming down and immediately we gotta jump over. Okay, and then grab the shell on and then go onto the platform. Okay, and then we throw. Okay, borderline shell jump here, kind of. This is gonna be the hardest part for me. I hope this doesn't get too technical. Hmm. Okay. I want to hold jump as hard as I can. Okay, when it comes to shell jumps, I know this isn't technically a shell jump, but when it comes to them, man, I'm so bad. Like, I am, like, atrocious. Okay, there we go. Um, we get a helmet. This is so clever. So we get a helmet, and then we'll jump and hit the question block. Okay, bomb comes out. It looks like maybe I want to jump off the bomb. I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure what it wanted right there. Alright, let's do this. So we gotta get the bomb across. Oh, we want to grab the bomb and throw it. And it's gonna blow up right at the right perfect time, probably. Fascinating. This is crazy. This is like, I want to express, this is so beyond the kind of levels I actually play. So this is truly, truly a learning experience for me. I've watched YouTubers do this kind of stuff, and it's like, you really take for granted the amount of work that goes into it. Yeah, so I see that now. So as soon as I hit that platform, I throw it, and it'll just blow up at the right time. Ooh, so close. This is a lot of fun. I'm getting the shell a lot more consistent now. I've got the I've got the button movements figured out. I want that Lakitu cloud so bad. Okay, we might be able to do this. I just gotta like focus a little bit more. Man, what's stopping? Here's my question. This is so well timed. It's for the Lakitu. How come the Lakitu? isn't doing anything in the beginning here. How come it waits till that exact time that I get over here to finally throw one? Is that just how it, it's timed? Oh, I felt like that was good. Man, is it really that tight or am I doing something off here? I feel like I'm doing something wrong. But it also probably just wants me to go quicker. Oh, okay. I think it's possible. Okay. Oh, and then you grab another helmet. That's insane. So you'll grab another helmet, damage boost through the wall there. This is like insane. I'm going to lose my lives. I'm going to have to get to this point again. Which is just brutal to think about. But still, we made some progress there. So we'll... Barely get the bomb up there, throw it. As we jump up, we'll grab another helmet, stand next to the bomb, which will then blow the wall up. Yep, yeah, like this. Go. <gasps> I need the helmet. Oh, oh, there was another one. <laughs> okay, this is crazy, dude. He has the Lakitu timing to an absolute T. So I have to stand next to the muncher and get another one. A third one after all that okay I, I almost had it there I gotta do this I got 10 lives the pressure is on right now Whew. I'm sad I'm so freaking sad right now oh my god
I'm gonna have to actually get back there. No! Oh no! Why does it? Why me? Why me? <laughs> okay, barely, barely. I'm holding right. Get back over, get back over. Is it finally over? Is this finally over? Can I finally be done with this level? No. What is this? Oh, I see. Alright, let's think about this for a minute. <laughs> I really don't want to choke this. So I jumped down off the shell. High enough to move the muncher out of the way to come down the platform. I gotta jump over using invincibility frames, grab the second shell mint, hit the on off, and then hopefully reach the goal. Wait, what? Oh. How is that supposed to work? I'm really confused. I'm really bummed out that there's a lot more to this than I thought. I thought that was going to be the end of the level. Okay. This is insane. I don't know what's going on. Oh, no! Okay, and then we'll jump over. It'll hit the on-off, so I'll grab a pal on the other side of that. Okay. Well, at least we're gaining some knowledge here. This is a really, really tough level. Alright, we just gotta go for it. Balls to the wall. Okay, okay, I want to think here, I want to think here. So, I'm going to jump over, or I'm going to take some eye frames here. On-off's going to get activated because of the thwomp. I'm going to grab a pal, and do what? What am I going to do after that pal? I'm going to kill the thwomp with the pal, maybe? Immediately afterwards? I don't know what to do here. Let's find out. Fascinating. This sucks, man, because I have to go through the level again. I'll probably come back to this level tomorrow. Alright, so I'm back for day two. I went ahead and got to the checkpoint. And let's start the grind again. So over the night, I was thinking about that last section that we made it to. And I think I know what we got to do over there. The problem with the thwomp was I wasn't supposed to jump down. I think I'm actually supposed to jump and hit the on-off blocks that were above me. And then land on the platform and then quickly get off of it. And then the Thwomp is going to then hit the on-offs, but I have to grab the pal and jump off of the platform before the Thwomp actually comes to me. And then we can just throw the pal at the munchers and beat the level, hopefully. Please, let's first shot this today. Okay, here we go. Okay. And then jump. Alright, I, I lost the showman. Okay. Alright. Just go for it. Oh, we're in there! We're in there! Did we beat it? Oh my god. Why? Why does this exist? Okay! <laughs> I was so nervous at the end there. That was really easy, but I was so scared. Okay, we finally beat it. It took me two days, but I finally beat that level. Oh my god, never ever land. Man, what a phenomenal level. These past two levels have been something else, let me tell you. Probably to the two hardest levels I've ever beaten in this game. So I'm kind of scared here. Do I actually want to play additional levels, or do I just want to go straight for the castle? I don't know. I say we just go straight for the castle here. And just kind of delve in to see what we got going on. Alright, let's check this level out. Depending on how bad it looks, I may not beat it. So we got a technical level, of course. Severance. Okay. Oh, okay. That was really simple. Alright, something's controlling on-offs here. It's probably one of those levels that every time I jump, an on-off uh, state changes. Yeah, it is. Alright, so every jump I make... So how am I going to get on the red on-offs then? 
This looks just like the other level, kinda. Wait, what? Mmm. Oh! That's a little spicy, I like that. Okay. Get on top of this, and then jump over here. Grab the key. And then we hop back up. Hey, this is a really cool level. I actually like that section a lot. Okay, this is crazy. Um, did I did I miss my opportunity? I think so. So we wanted to jump, then bounce off of him. Hmm, did we want to get on the flying one immediately after that? Maybe, I don't know. Jump here, and then it knocks you over. The creativity is off the charts, man. How have I not, like, ever paid attention to this creator before? Am I following them? I'm not sure. Incredible work, though. It's actually a really fun section. I think here we have to just go immediately. Oh, why did I do that? Okay, I think I know what's up. We want to jump onto the flying one, and then jump off of the flying one to activate the red on-off. Because it seems like when you bounce off of these, it doesn't activate them right away. What's the record for this one? 52 seconds? This guy's very consistent in how long his levels are. <laughs> like, seriously. Yeah, okay, that's exactly what we do. Okay, then we want to... Alright, we want to get on the blue on-off. Then... Okay, we want to hit the spring up there before we get to the blue. And that's going to hit the on-off over there and drop me onto the P block, possibly? And then I jump over? Oh! Is that what I wanted? I think so. Oh, the P is an indicator. Okay. The P block is an indicator. It's where I need to fall. I think, at least. Or at least to bounce off of so I can get over to the red on-offs. Excellent level. They just get better and better. The creativity, man. <laughs> you win some, you lose some. Hold up just a little bit in this area. We don't have to go too crazy. Make sure you actually hit this. Oh, okay. Maybe I want to... I don't think I want to jump. I think I just want to like hold right. I think the bounce... Just uh, the innate bounce you get from that is enough. Mm. Man, do I want to jump? I don't know. Okay, just the tiniest little jump that you can do. Alright, well, what's going to be done here? Okay, do I want to run? Uh, hmm. <laughs> that was so stupid. I think I want to jump there. I don't think a run's going to do anything for me. <sighs> no! <laughs> I missed. That's the worst. I missed. Okay. Alright, alright. Jump down here. Baby jump. Oh! Ooh! What just happened? Okay, I freaked out. I freaked out right there. I was just going off my instincts. Okay, what you want to do there is you want to jump while on the thwomp, I think. Get on the thwomp really quick, jump to activate the on-offs to get through. Again, I wish I could have seen what was coming up ahead of time. I just panicked and jumped on the thwomp there, not really knowing what was going on. I thought I did the right thing, but I guess I had to, I had to jump at some point. Probably a checkpoint after that door, too. This part's really easy, actually, now. Well, you know. I die one times out of ten. <laughs> it's alright. I gotta say, though, this is by far the easiest one I've played yet. I mean, I, I say that now, it's probably gonna get a lot harder after the checkpoint. But honestly, as of right now, this is like a really tame compared to the other ones. But I think it's the best one. I don't know, just something about it's really fun. The simpleness of it, the creativity is off the charts. I don't like these blind jumps right here. And that jump right there is gonna kill me more times than I wanted to. <laughs> I can't believe I made that. Uh, we go on the pipe? Okay, good. Interesting. Okay, so we gotta immediately... Can I just, like, trick the thwomp into going? Weird. Wait. <laughs> okay, a slight troll there. <laughs> a slight troll. 
So we need to actually go up top. Whoops. Okay, we need to go around to the right side of it. And then hop down, maybe. Alright. Not too bad. And then hop down. And then do it again. Um, Something's going to come out of this. I don't know what. A mushroom? Whoa, okay. Wait. It's just stuck there? <laughs> well, there it goes. Bye. <laughs> Alright. I see what we gotta do. Alright, really, really easy to get back there. Wait! Oh, I jumped too quick! What a troll! <laughs> That's really clever. So if you go too quick, trying to like preemptively get it, it just kills it. I like it. Go! 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 Okay. Woo! Do I want to get on the vine? I think so, right? Hey, Thwomp, what's up? So jump, platform, get on the vine. Thwomp will probably... Let's just activate the Thwomp. Uh, why is he falling like that? That's so weird. Are we safe? Okay, it looks like we're safe. This is a really weird section. Okay. I guess I did that right. Whoa. Alright, I wanna think I wanna think for a minute here. Jump on the claw. Go over spike. Now the second claw, I don't think it's gonna grab us. So maybe we wanna jump. Maybe we wanna hang off to the right on the first claw, jump, get back onto it, maybe it'll hold on to us, and then jump over again. Let's see. Oh no, we're safe. I was like completely thinking about that wrong. Okay. Alright, so we just need to do a nice, simple bounce off the cannon. Alright, and then do it once more. Ah, uh, you know what? <laughs> oh, no, it's it's right there in front of me, and it should be obvious, but I'm just a dumb dumb and I cannot figure it out. Alright, so let it drop. I didn't know they actually dropped like that in night theme. Oh, I can just kill it. Yeah. That works. That section's really weird. That's like super easy in comparison to everything else. Maybe I got lucky and just figured it out right away. Oh, come on! Shoot out! <laughs> I thought I timed it right, but I didn't. I'm gonna actually like mentally count in my head like how long it takes for each one to shoot. Alright, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Alright, perfect. So that doesn't count as a jump. We actually want to just hop over to the other side. Okay, that doesn't count. Interesting. I want to wait longer. Made it back. Over here. Nice and easy. One, two, three, four. Hop over here. Ah, man, this part really confuses me because I'm not sure... As soon as I jump, it's going to activate. So I'm going to hop over here. Maybe there's something up here for me. Oh, okay, I see. Alright, it would help if I could have seen a little bit more right there. So we want to hop over and grab the first vine. Okay, I see. Woo! Jump over here. Want to activate the icicle. Get off. Then go up. Quick, quick, quick. And then jump. Hey, that was super cool. That was really, really, really cool. I got a feeling there's going to be two checkpoints in this one. No, there's not. Oh! Oh! You know what? Nah. I'm out. I can't believe this guy. Are you serious, dude? Tekken or tracking, dude. I'm not going to lie. From one troll creator to the next right there, that was... That was really good. That was... <laughs> he actually made it to where that one doesn't activate. That was top tier trolling right there. This ain't even a troll level, and that was top tier trolling. I cannot believe that. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna have to get me a face cam so you guys can actually see my reactions to this kind of stuff. Man. Wow. 
Touche, man. You know what? Bravo, whatever. Any words I can come up with right now? Mad respect. I'm a little bit salty, but... At least the level's not too hard. If this was a really difficult level, I would've actually been mad right there. <laughs> My god. Wow. That one hit hard. Mmm. Man, you gotta really, really jump, like, super late for that. You know Tracken had a humongous smile on his face when he did that. He knew, like, yeah, this is exactly what they don't expect to happen. This would be perfect. <laughs> Alright, jump super late. Okay, no problem. Easy does it. Go here, go back here. Go up here, jump. Okay. <laughs> Let's just beat this level. If there's a Kaizo block or something. Okay. Thank you. Wow, what a great level. What a great three levels we just played. Seriously, had no expectations going into the Super World. I have no idea who this guy is at all. But my god, these are some top tier levels through and through. I fully plan on finishing the Super World. I think in the next episode we'll tackle the castle, and depending on how that goes, we might do this additional level on top of the ladder there. But my god, these were like really hard, really fun. That was just an absolute blast to play. It took me a couple days there, but man, totally worth it. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'm uploading Mario Maker content every other day. So, when this goes up, chill out for a day new episode will be up the next day as simple as that i plan on doing that for as long as i can and i've also been mentioning in all my videos that if you have a level you want to submit to me leave a level code below don't send me something that's crazy hard and don't send me something that's like really short like five six seconds send me a level that you're proud of and i'll put it in the video at some point it's a surefire way to get a youtuber to play your uh, your your level so if you want to see somebody play your level just Go in the comments, you know, subscribe to the channel so you can actually keep up with my content and see it when it comes out. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one.